the Lord was just reminding me of this last night to share here. And so um, the reminder that he gave me was if you are not having time or <clears throat> motivation or whatever, if you're not having fill in the blank and you're not in God's word, um, read it on the toilet. So it's kind of funny to some people and to other people, they might think it's blasphemous, but the Lord was reminding me that is actually, that was a training ground where he really taught me and helped me to finally get into reading his word for myself rather than just hearing it at church or, um, you know, reading, um, you know, someone else's interpretation or whatever, but actually reading God's word, um, as well as, um, when he was, when I was in this training ground, um, what he showed me, because I was like, you know, feeling that like, okay, I'm going to keep this in the bathroom, you know, and read it. But then it felt like almost like disrespectful, like really, that's the only time I'm going to read the word is when I'm sitting on the toilet, you know? Um, but there were several things that the Lord showed me about that. Um, one was that at that point in my life, that was like the only time I would hold still. I couldn't, and I wouldn't hold still. I had demons that needed to be cast out and off of me. I had trauma that needed to be healed. I had self-discipline that needed to be put into place and discipline of the Lord in order for me to be still in order to read the word, as well as in order for my mind to be still and to be able to focus and my body to not fidget. And also, like I said, the demons that need to be cast out that would cause distraction and everything, you know, you name it. And so the Lord said that was a training ground for me. And a lot of you guys need that. And so it's not blasphemous. It's not disrespectful. Number one, God made our body. So he made our plumbing system. Okay. Um, number two, um, here's the two choices. If you're not reading God's word at all or reading God's word while you're sitting on the toilet. Okay. Which one? Over here, you're getting God's word in you. Now, of course, the goal isn't to continue for the rest of your life only reading God's word while you're in the bathroom, but use that as a training ground if you're struggling to get into his God, to get into his word, because that is the bread of life. Um, that is the water of life. We need to be ingesting that. And so, um, leave if you have a devotion book that you're reading that's okay to do too but don't do that over the word if you're doing a devotion book i would say um do a little bit of the word and again when you first start reading your flesh is fighting so hard and also if you have demons that need to be cast out you can't do you can't do a behavioral modification with demons so you can cast them out. You can command them to leave or have someone else do that for you if you're coming up against that because you can't do behavior modification with the demon. So um, get those things in order and ask the Lord for the bl blueprint. Lord, how do I do this? How do I get myself into your word so I can be healed, delivered, strengthened? Okay, that is how you grow. That is how you overcome sin. That is how you overcome your own flesh, sin nature. That is how you overcome the enemy and every enemy that comes up against you. So all of us have to visit the toilet, okay? And so um, even if it's a couple minutes here and a couple minutes there, that's where you're going to start um, developing that appetite and filling and training yourself so that eventually then you'll have everything that you need to be filling and feasting yourself on God's word without that fight. But for now, if that's what you need to do, then God is saying, do it. Leave it in the bathroom. Give it a special shelf and take that time to get your daily bread in Jesus name. Amen.